What does it mean, you know, winning another award for Peakies? Yeah, but it's a great award because it's voted for by the fans, which uh, I know everybody says that, but it, it is significant for Peaky because I think Peaky has grown as a consequence of people watching it and talking to other people and telling them about it. It's not been promoted, you know, it doesn't come as a consequence of a big advertising campaign, it's come as a consequence of fans loving it and telling their friends to watch it, which is great. And it does feel like it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Do you feel the pressure when you're script writing and no. producing? No, I think that if you, st I think if I start to worry about that, it's going to, the bubble will burst. So um, I just think the thing to do is to keep going the way it is, keep doing it and people keep finding it and it's like a magnet that people are coming to. So as far as I'm concerned, as long as we all keep, it's like riding a bike keep doing what you're doing and season five did end on a bit of a cliffhanger <laughs> gonna have to ask you about it and um, why why did you choose that kind of cliffhanger what does it mean for the future going forward well I think it's always good to end something with uh, a question mark and so that people are not sure what is going to come next so that encourages people to then go to the next thing um, and I'll continue to do that it's become a bit of a sort of part of the style of Peaky is to end something with a question so that's what I want to do and what's coming up for the Shelby family? They're kind of in a bit of a turmoil now that we picked them up in season six. Uh, trouble, trouble and trouble <laughs> is what's coming. Uh, with a bit of happiness as well. Uh, I've always intended that at the very, very end, there will be redemption, there'll be resolution and there'll be a kind of happiness. But along the way, a lot of trouble. And do you kind of see an end date for Peaky Blinders? Oh yeah, I know how it's going to end. Um, this particular incarnation of, of the family story. I know that it's going to end at the beginning of the Second World War. Um, but after that, I think that the momentum is such that maybe we will continue with other bits of the story. Amazing. And um, just finally, is Tommy dead? Dead? Never. He's immortal.